Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna take these two shades from the Jaclyn Hill Original Palette and I'm gonna use that as my transition. I'm gonna be using the Morphe M505 for this. And I'm just gonna pat this shade in. I'm not gonna really be doing any like circular motions or anything. Um, you'll see me do it a little bit, but not very much. For this part, I usually just pat in the color. Now going in with the Vol uh, Ring the Alarm palette. I'm going to take this shade on a Morphe M433 and I'm going to do the same thing but just a little bit lower. and forth between the orange shade and the yellow that's just to make sure that everything is blended and there's not going to be any harsh lines or anything like that <laughs> Following the same steps, I'm just going to take these two shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to do the same thing, just a little bit lower again. Every time we add another shade, I'm just going to take it a little lower. <laughs> taking just a clean Morphe M441 just to make sure everything was blended. I didn't want to add any more products so that's why I took a clean brush instead. Taking my Morphe M506, I'm going to take these two shades here and I'm going to pack that into a crease. For this next part, I'm just showing you that um, with this Ring the Alarm palette, I like it. I'm not gonna lie, I do like it now. This is the Newell formula. But it did kind of get a little patchy, so I just zoomed in so you guys can see. But the patchiness, the patchiness isn't anything that you can't work with, so it's not too bad. Going back in with my Morphe M433, I'm just going to blend out the edges of that. And just to add more depth to the look, I'm taking those two brown shades from the Morphe palette on the same brush. And I'm just gonna pack that into her crease. So 
sorry guys some footage did get cut out i didn't realize that my camera stopped recording but i didn't go in with any other color i just kept packing those brown shades on top of her lid and her crease um then i'm gonna go in with that at morphe m433 and just put out the edges of that as well with this step i really did take my time so i did cut out a lot of footage and i did speed it up because i really take my time with this step also if you guys want to be a part of making these videos with me i do do a lot of polls and stuff on my instagram as you see me doing here so if you want to be a part of it just follow me on my instagram all the information will be in the description box so taking my la girl concealer i believe this is on fawn no a uh, porcelain i applied some to her lid um had her look upwards just to see where her crease was and i cut her crease taking the baddie cosmetics glitter in egypt i'm not sure if they still sell this um color anymore they might i'm not sure um but yeah i'm just packing that on her lid I mixed my Maybelline Fit Me in 332 and MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC50 to get her right shade. Afterwards, I'm going to take the LA Girl Concealer in Fawn just to highlight her face. I do not know why I'm having brain farts with my words today, guys. Forgive me. to contour her face lashes are from velour lashes these are in the style wispy on the rocks give me all that you got now make you the brushes that I'm going to be using are mainly real techniques brushes so this is from their instapop collection um, you're going to see me come in with an orange one also the instapop brush that one's just larger you were lame, baby, you were making no noise Get faded, turn up with the big boys Live fast, die young, that's my choice Get money, get money like an young boy Make you move on like a whip Make the money, make the grip I you standing with my clip? Can I fade it to be true? Trees in the 
Just give me the check and we can pour it out And my enemies, they see me living now And if you're over me, then you'll be winning now I love to get on, I love to get to on When the drink be too strong, when the tree be way too strong Get, get faded to me So before I set her face, I always go back in and blend everywhere, especially under her eyes because she was looking at her phone, doing a whole bunch of stuff. So I just want to prevent any creases. To set her face, I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup powder mixed with my Laura Mercier and just set her highlighted areas. Next tip, I have to shout out Kiki Adams on here on YouTube and on Instagram. She taught me this. I used to have so much issues with flashback on myself, on other people, like it was so bad. But after I realized, after she taught me that you can just go back in with the same brush that you use for foundation and then push all the setting powder in the skin, it prevents flashback. So crazy. <laughs> To bronze her skin, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Dark Deepest. For blush, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Blush Palette. I'm going to take that shade there. That's really the only shade that I use. The other ones, I, I don't know. I don't have a lot of lighter clients, so I don't use it much. Spraying her face with Mario Badescu, um, because she does have dry skin, so I like to hydrate in between every few steps. For highlight, I'm gonna take the ColourPop Got Me Beaming Palette, and I'm gonna highlight her face. highlighting palette I'm going to spray the smaller brush and I'm going to highlight her inner corner to finish off the look I'm going to take this elf shadow brush and I'm going to go in with all the shades that I did for her eyes and I'm just going to pack it on her lower lid now. For 
For lips, I'm going to use the same that I always use, brown lip liner, uh, Ruby Kiss Liquid Lipstick and Honey Bunny. Shout out to Vanity Throne for putting me onto that. Um, I usually put gloss on top, but you guys aren't going to see it because the camera cut off again. I'm so sorry, but I do thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Get lost in love we make, I'm